Alright. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Roy P. Burt Stadium, home of the Saddlebrook Falcons. Today, the 9-0 Falcons are hosting the 9-1 Glenrock Panthers in the semifinal Group 1 state championship. There are thousands of people here, actually, and I see people setting up on the roof across the street. The line is well into the parking lot today. It is a cold and windy day here. Hopefully the wind doesn't play too much of a factor in this game. Looks like Glenrock has won the toss and will receive the ball. Lucas Cuellar getting set to kick off. Number 12 and number 7 back for Glenrock. Deep to receive Cuellar's kick. It's been a lot of anticipation for this game. And here we go. Nice kick by Cuellar. Taken by McKenneth. Going to the right side. And brought down around the 23 yard line. So it'll be first and ten Glenrock Panthers on their own 24. Mark Hammond is the Glenrock quarterback keeping and going left and dropped for a loss by a number of Falcon defenders. I see Fregali in that and the defense is pumped up. Looks like Glenrock lost about five yards on that play. It'll bring up second and five. Uh, I'm sorry, make that second and 15. Glenrock now at the 18, their own 18 yard line. Hammond into shotgun, looking to pass, rolling right, flags thrown. He'll be running it. And he's close to the first down marker, not quite, but there are flags on the play. Offsides Glenrock. So they'll be backed up even further. It'll remain second down. But they'll be backed up, oh, about five more yards, so it'll bring up second and 20. Second and 20 from the Saddlebrook 13 yard line. Hammond back to pass. Looking left and caught by McKenneth. Good enough for the first down. McKenneth tackled by Dan Bolger, but not after he picked up the first down. So it'll be first and 10 Glenrock at their own 37 yard line. Mark Hannon under center, keeping going right. Little or no gain on that play. 
Brought down, brought down by a host of Falcon defenders. Pickup of maybe half a yard on the play, so it'll be second and ten. Second and ten. Hannon takes the snap, looking left. Almost brought down, eluding defenders, but finally brought down for a loss. It'll be third down and looks like 14. So it'll be third and 14 Glenrock at their own 34 yard line. Well, the Falcons' first important defensive stand comes here early in this game. Hannon out of the shotgun takes the snap, looking to pass, throws the ball. The ball is tipped and incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Fourth and 14, Glenrock. Number five. That ball was, or pass was, broken up by number five, Dan Bolger. Beautiful defensive play. So the Panthers are going to punt. Dan DeBella back to receive the punt. Ball takes a Falcon bounce. So the Saddlebrook Falcons will take over first and 10 from their own 47 yard line. Glenrock did pick up a first down on that last series, but then went four and out. So now it's the Falcons' first possession of the game with 9.15 left in the first quarter. We're scoreless at this point. Napolitano under center. Takes the snap and hands off to Jesse Dewey to the right side. Picks up some yardage. Dewey, the carrier. Looks like he picked up about four yards. So it'll be second and six. Second and six, Falcons just into Glenrock territory at the 49 yard line. Napolitano remains under center. Ball is snapped, he's looking right. Pitches right to number 30, Jesse Dewey. Picks up some more yardage. Looks like he picked up about three or four yards on that. Well, maybe two. So it'll bring up uh, third and a long four for the Falcons from the Glenrock 47 yard line. Teams come to the line. The ball is snapped and handed off again. He's going to be short of the first down. Dewey was the ball handler. So it'll be fourth and about two for the Falcons. Fourth and one. Looks like Lucas Cuellar is getting ready to punt the ball. Glenrock defenders back deep. Gets the punt off. And it takes a nice bounce. It'll be down somewhere around the 23 yard line. So both teams not able to capitalize on their first offensive possessions. Glen Rock will take over first and 10. The 
last team, uh, the last time these teams met earlier this season was a thrilling game where the Falcons prevailed 30 to 27. Ball is snapped and handed up to the right side. Picks up some nice yardage. That was number 34, Tom Gangler. Correction on that, that was Steve Barth, number 24. Make that 34, I was right the first time. Getting some bad advice up here in the booth. <laughs> Hannon remains under center. Rolling left. And is brought down by a number of Falcons. I see Napolitano in on that tackle. But he did pick up the first down. So it'll be first and 10 Glenrock at their own 35 yard line. Hannon takes the snap, looking right. Passing to McKenneth, and an incomplete. So that'll bring up second and 10 for Glenrock. They remain at their own 35 yard line. The winner of today's game will play the winner of the other North One Group One matchup. That would be Park Ridge and Becton. Hand and hands off, and the runner is brought down immediately. That was Gangler again on the carry. Picked up of maybe a yard, so it'll be third and nine, Glenrock. It'll be third and nine Panthers from their own 36 yard line. Hannon out of the shotgun, looking right. Flag thrown. Did not pick up that first down. Picked up a few yards, but we'll have to see what these flags were about. Galuzzo and Parisi in on that tackle. And it was a holding call against the Panthers. Looks like the coaches from Saddlebrook are signaling to decline that call, which would bring up fourth down. There's still some discussion on it. And it is declined, so it'll be fourth down. And the Glenrock punting team is coming out onto the field. So a Glen, again, Glenrock did pick up a first down on that drive, but that was about it. Again, they go four and out, or three and out. Ball is punted with no pressure. The ball will roll, roll dead about the 40 yard line for Saddlebrook. Make that the 35. Uh, it'll be first and 10 Falcons at their own 35 yard line. We've got no score here in the first quarter with 6.09 left on the clock. There's still a line of people waiting to get in. They estimated the crowd to be 2,000 here today. Looks like we may top that. Teams come up to the line. Napolitano remains under center. The ball is snapped, looking right. Throws down the field to DeBella and incomplete. So the ball was intended for DeBella, but broken up by number 20. That would be Outer Bridge, Logan Outer Bridge. So it'll bring up second and 10 for the Falcons, still at their own 35 yard line. Teams come up to the line. Napolitano in the shotgun formation. That's 
Looks like he was throwing for number 40, but it was picked off by number seven, McKenneth. Picked off by number seven, Will McKenneth. So the first interception of the game, that was picked off by McKenneth, number seven of Glen Rock. Looks like it was intended for number four, Don Beluzzo. So it'll be first and 10 Glen Rock Panthers at their own 43 yard line. Hannon takes the snap, looking right, quick pass. That was quick pass to number 22, Rob Grammer. Good enough for the first down. Actually, it looks like they're gonna measure for the first down, he's awfully close. And it is a Glenrock first down, so it'll be first and 10 Glenrock at the Saddlebrook 46 yard line. Hannon under center. Takes the snap, hands off up the middle to number 34. Oh, actually faked me out. It was handed off to the center. But Han actually Hannon kept the ball. Picked up some nice yardage. Again, close to the first down marker. Well, it looks like he'll be one yard shy of the first down, so it'll be second and one. The Panthers at the 36-yard line of the Falcons. Quick pass to number 22, incomplete. That pass was intended for Rob Grammer. So it'll bring up third and one for the Panthers, remaining at the Saddlebrook 36-yard line. The first time either team has gone into the other's territory. Handed up to the left side by number eight. Still on his feet and brought down short of the goal line. So Mark Hannon kept and brought down around the five yard line. So it'll be first and goal Panthers from the five yard line. Hannon hands off up the middle to number 34, who stopped before he reaches the end zone. Well, that was handed off to Gengler, but he was brought down by Dom Galuzzo and Dan Bolger. So it'll be second and goal from about the four yard line. Hannon takes the snap and keeps, but he's brought down for a loss. Looks like he was brought back to about the eight yard line. Beautiful play by the Falcons defense. So that'll bring up third and goal for Glenrock. Mark Hannon now in the shotgun. Ball is snapped, he's looking left. Getting some pressure on him, running back to the right, throws to a wide open person in the end zone. Touchdown, Glenrock. Well, Mike Clark was all alone in the end zone. So with 3.47 in the first quarter, we have our first score of the game. Score is Glenrock six, Saddlebrook zero. Glenrock lining up to kick the extra point. 
That's Tybersky to kick the extra point. Ball is snapped, and the kick was blocked. And DeBella blocked that extra point. So that could become a crucial factor in this game. The score remains Glenrock 6, Saddlebrook 0, with 3.47 left in the first quarter. So Dan Bolger and Lucas Cuellar back deep to receive the kick. Tybersky will kick off. He'll be kicking off into the wind. There is a stiff breeze blowing here from left to right as you look at your screen. Looks like the ball will be picked up by number two, Lucas Cuellar. Runs up the middle, is brought down around the 30-yard line. So it'll be first and 10 Falcons at their own 30-yard line. Falcons. So that nice run by Cuellar is negated by a flag. Remain first down, but it'll be first and long. It'll be first and 15 for the Falcons. Back at uh, their own 35 yard line. The ball is snapped and handed again to Lucas Cuellar to the, up the middle. And Lucas picked up some nice yardage. Picked up by number 20, Logan Outerbridge. Outerbridge was in on that tackle. So it'll be second and six Falcons. Up to the 43 yard line. About four minutes showing on the clock for the first half. Palatano takes the snap, keeps, is brought down. Looks like he may have lost a yard. So it'll be third and six for the Falcons. Teams come up to the line. Napolitano takes the snap and looking to pass. Pass is right. Looks like that was for... Was to DeBella. Close to the first down marker. Oh, but I do see a flag on the play. And again, it is against the Falcons. So that'll back them up again. It'll remain third down. But it looks like it'll be third and 15. Falcons back to their own 34 yard line. <laughs> the 
Napolitano takes the snap and hands left to Lucas Cuellar. Lucas picks up some yardage. Maybe about four yards. So it'll be fourth and long for the Falcons. And they'll be punting in this situation. So a pretty good defensive struggle here in Saddlebrook. Cuellar takes the snap. The ball is going to roll dead about the 38-yard line, um, 34-yard line. So it'll be first and 10, Glenrock with two minutes to go in the first half. Glenrock leading 6-0. Mark Hannon under center, takes the snap, keeps it and goes left. Picking up some nice yardage. Looks like he's uh, close to that first down marker. And it is a first down for the Panthers. So it'll be first and 10 Glenrock at their own 43 yard line. Two minutes to go here in the first half of play. Hannon takes the ball in shotgun, looking to pass. The pass was broken up. Giglio in on that uh, breakup of the pass. So it'll remain 10 yards to go for Glenrock, but second and 10. Ball is snapped and handed up the middle to number 34. Brought down for a loss. That was Gangler in on that on that uh, carry. DeLui and Napolitano in on that tackle. So it'll be third and a long 10. Mark Hannon in shotgun looking to pass. Rolling right. Looking right. Pass was intended for McKenneth, but thrown incomplete. So it'll be fourth down, Glenrock. With a minute 29 left in the first half. The Glenrock Panthers will be punting to Saddlebrook. Falcons still have all three of their timeouts here in the first half. A ball is snapped. Ball will be down at about the 30 yard line. So it'll be first and 10 Saddlebrook at their own 30 yard line. One twenty left now in the first half. The Falcons first and ten. Napolitano takes the snap, hands off right to Jesse Louie. Jesse picking up some nice yardage. Looks like seven or eight yards picked up. So it'll be second and three Falcons. Up to the 37 yard line. 
less than a minute to go. Napolitano throwing right to Dan DeBella. Incomplete. Stops the clock with 50 seconds to go in the first half. But brings up third down, so it'll be third and a long three for the Falcons. Teams come up to the line. Napolitano remains under center. Hands off to Jesse Dewey. No gain. So that's going to bring up fourth down. The fact Falcons will have to punt with 44 seconds left in the first half. Glenrock has called a timeout. Well, the teams come to the line after Glenrock calls its final timeout. Lucas Cuellar back to punt the ball. The ball is snapped. And the punt is away. So it'll be first and 10 Glenrock at the 45 yard line with 30 seconds to go in the first half. The score remains Glenrock six, Saddlebrook nothing. Mark Hannon in shotgun. Passes left. Grammer has a huge run. Grammer down to the Saddlebrook 20 yard line. Still 23 seconds left in the first half. Hannon takes the snap. Rolling right. Ball is thrown complete. That was number 16, Roberto Schwartz, who caught that ball. So it'll be first and goal. Glenrock downs the ball. So it'll be second and goal, Glenrock, from the five-yard line with 10 seconds to go in the first half. Seems that Glenrock always manages to get into scoring position just before the half. They've done it on numerous occasions that I can remember. Mark Hannon remains in the shotgun formation. Rolling left. Rolling right. There's a flag thrown, and he'll be short of the first down, or the goal line, but there is no time on the clock. It is against Glenrock. So it looks like that'll be the last play of the first half. And that is the end of the first half. So after two quarters of play, the score remains Glenrock 6, Saddlebrook 0. We'll be back after halftime and after these messages. Thank you and enjoy the show.